Hello, this is Ben Hollifield, bringing you a quick demo of the Accelerator for Web Apps application for ServiceNow. Now, the Accelerator for Web Apps application is catered to, to, the, to the web developers out there that are getting started on ServiceNow. Um, we know that ServiceNow has a very rich set of capabilities around creating your own apps um, and a lot of uh, UI built into ServiceNow that you can take advantage of through our um, through our content management system and through just the standard UI. However, for a lot of web de developers out there, you want to start using these um, more advanced frameworks that are now available, Angular, Kinetic, Knockout, um, Bootstrap, these kinds of things that you want to use to develop more rich, responsive web apps. And if you're getting started with ServiceNow, trying to do that can be a little bit tricky. You need to know where to put your JavaScript, where to put your style sheets, where to store your images, how to make those all work together, and then eventually how do you group all those together so you have a working app that you can push up to your production instance. Um, and it can be a little tricky. So for with Accelerator, we're trying to simplify that process. So let me show you how it works. First of all, Accelerator is available on share.servicenow.com. You can come on out here, search for Accelerator, and you'll find that. Uh, download it. It's a standard update set, and you can push it up to your own instance. Once you have that on your instance, you'll notice you have a new module here in the left nav. Now, there are a few things that are going on here. Uh, first of all, we do have tables that store the JavaScript frameworks and CSS frameworks that we're making available to you. Uh, this was done in this fashion so that we can easily add new frameworks. Um, as the new things come out that you want to use, we can add those in to the application, both JavaScript and CSS, and you can easily select those and start building apps from those. You can see right now we're supporting Angular, Bootstrap, Kinetic, Knockout, and Prototype. Um, there will certainly be more to come. So if we want to start a new app, we can just click on Accelerator Apps here, click on New, and say I want to build just a, a singular, simple, one-page Angular app. Put in a name for it there. I can choose my framework. Say I want to do Angular. Say I want to use Bootstrap for my CSS, and then I can include a Glide Ajax script include if I wish, just so I can um, have communication back and forth with the server. In this case, it's a simple app. I don't need to do that. So then click Submit. And what's going to happen is Accelerator is going to go out and it's going to start generating all the stuff you need and attaching it so that you have all your components in one place. Um, we'll see our UI page, which is where our HTML is going to be written. It's already created there. We got UI scripts. One of those contains the actual Angular library. The other is just a, a, a single JavaScript file for your custom code for your app. We would have our script includes if we included any. We got our bootstrap style sheet. And then any images we might want to add to our app, we can link in right here. And um, as you come through, you'll notice you have edit buttons and new buttons on each of these. So you can quickly add new scripts, new style sheets, new images um, right from within this section. And every time we add something new, if we take a quick look at our UI page, we're going to see that it's automatically processing our includes right here. So we're linking in our, our JavaScript libraries and our CSS without having to really, really do anything extra. It's automatically happening for us. So now with our application framework built out that quickly, we can just start writing code immediately. Um, so here we are in the UI page, and this is where we'll need to start writing our HTML. Uh, I happen to have some already spun up that I can just paste in. And this is HTML for a simple Angular app. Um, you'll see we have some controllers and Angular directives here. Paste that in, click Update. In addition, we're also going to need to go over and add some actual uh, JavaScript to our Angular JavaScript file here. Click into that, and we'll paste that in. Uh, simple Angular code. Um, if any of you have gone through the code, code schools uh, Angular tutorial, you may recognize some of this. So once we have our style sheet there, we have our HTML, our UI scripts, and our um, library in place, all we got to do is click Launch App. And that'll fire up just a, a real simple, basic um, Angular application. And so it's really easy as that. Up here we also give you a message telling you where you can actually go and directly access this Angular app. And so uh, it's aiming to just make it very quick and easy to develop and test these apps. But then once you finish up, we also want to make it very easy for you to, to package this up and send it to production. So you'll see that we have this link here for push app to active update set. And what that's going to do is it's going to take all your UI pages, your UI scripts, script includes, style sheets, images, and all the attachments to those and package them all up and put them into your update set. So here we have my Angular app as the active update set. If we click push app to active update set, it's rolling it all together, adds it to the update set. Again, gives you the URL where that will be accessible in your next instance. But if we look at our active update set now, we'll see we've got a whole bunch of stuff in there. All of the components of that Angular application we just put together. 
So right now in testing, this has been working out pretty well. There are a few quirks. Um, we've noticed particularly some quirks in the HTML itself. Um, sometimes things will load up in quirky ways depending on the ordering of your includes. Um, here you'll see that we've had to include the CSS both down in our HTML down here as well as up here in our link to the style sheet on the ServiceNow platform. So there's some quirks depending on the app you're writing and, and the style of code that you may run into like that. Uh, easy to test through and we're trying to make things more and more bulletproof so um, as you test this out please give us any feedback uh, let us know any bugs you see any things that might make this work a little more efficiently or any additional um, frameworks and libraries you'd like to see added but uh, please go to share test it out let us know what you think and we hope this um, helps speed up building these rich responsive web apps in the future we're looking forward to seeing what you do